right, everybody. It's a week 10. I already scored there with Blair Thomas. So week 9 was the bye. Week 10 we're playing. After week 10, I'll go through all the stats and everything else. Oh, geez. Do I really want to go with the Sterling Sharp reverse? I'll just stick with the shotgun and make sure that we don't get killed that way. Well, welcome back. Oh! There we go. Jeff Lagerman. Touchdown. Kind of had a little bit of a mic issue. That's why it took me some time to get back into this. To get me into this. So, but yeah, definitely, like I said, week, week nine is the bye. And right after, I simulate through week ten, go through all the stats and everything else. But just got to keep the Blair Thomas train rolling. Help this winning streak. Oh, this is definitely not... This is not the reverse. Pick. Going against Don the Magic Man Mikowski. There we go. How did we not get that? What's going on here? Third down? Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Got him with the stop. Could have a decent game here. Don't want to jinx it, but could have a decent game here. Ready, down. Put, put. Ready, down. Put, put. Second quarter, up by 14. Let's just keep on going. Blair Thomas all day long. Oh, I'll try to. Try to thread the needle between those two defenders. You can't stop Blair Thomas. You can only hope to contain him. Fearman McNeil. That's a touchdown. <coughs> Freeman McNeil. The rushing attack has been way more effective than the passing attack I've noticed over the past couple of weeks. Which helps with time and everything else, so I said, just got to keep the train rolling on this 100%. Oh. At least I got the pass block. Okay, so this is, I noticed, you gotta watch the pick. Oh, it's 
Who? Perry Kemp. Forgot about Perry Kemp. Fake reverse to Woodside for the touchdown. Don't even know what the guy's first name is. Kenneth Woodside. Because once again, if you've noticed, if I do pick a team, I'm throwing the ball, which I kind of had to change up a little bit. All right, not bad. 21-7. Minute 30 left in. Going for the flea flicker. And, and of course, everybody's covered. And I almost ran out of bounds. And interception. Awesome. Uh, I should have just ran. Should have just ran. Yes, overthrown. Third and ten for them. Gotta watch out for headaches. Jeff Lagerman. Where have you been all season? But I'm glad you showed up in this game. Five seconds left. Never heard of Rack and their punter, but all right, it's halftime. They get the ball back. Still gonna do what I've been doing. I'm up by 14, so why change anything? So we watch this awesome halftime show. And also with these seasons, if you're wondering if I do not make it to the Super Bowl, I end the season. Once I'm out, so I'll make the playoffs, I lose in the playoffs. Once I'm out, I consider the season over. I'm not going to play the Super Bowl. I will simulate so that you can see what's going on and give you final stats. Log Joe Kelly. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. That's incomplete. The minute I saw him leave his hand, I knew it was going out of bounds. Jackie West with the catch. Keeping Sterling Sharp under wraps. Oh, very good punt. All right, let's get the Bear Blair Thomas trying to go. Oh, they said no. Oh, because you can't stop him. You can only hold to contain him. Still gaining yards. Neil, caught. Excellent. Ready, down. Put, put, put. Nobody up top for L Toon. There we are. Touchdown, L Toon. Gotta get him one a game. Gotta try and get him one a game. There it is, 28-7. Up by 21, not too bad. Put, put, put. 
No! Up to Jackie West. Touchdown, Jackie West. Pretty sure it's Jackie, right? It is Jack. Oh, it's Ed West. Sorry. Ed West. I thought it was Jackie. Didn't they have a tight I know they have Chris Jackie, but why am I thinking his name was Jackie? But... Oh! No good. Block on the extra point. Terrence Mantis. Go Blair here. Boyer, nothing. Third and five, and they said we sniffed it out. I'm going for it. Man, I let go of that ball. I knew. Oh! Get him? Touchdown. Oh, incomplete pass. Did not expect that. Another one. Nice. Rob Moore. Big catch. That we're gonna try and get through. Oh, it's Sterling. Jeez. Got him. Oh, Kyle Clifton got him. So we're still in this to win it. Out to Haddix. Will they run that one again? Oh, I should have picked it. That's the play I've been normally picking, but I went with the motion thinking. Got him. Oh, and the fumble. Woodside touchdown. He's fast. He is a fast, fast man. I can't get the third one in a row. It's 
still winning. Up by nine. Oh, the onside kick with 17 seconds left. And they can't even do a two-point conversion if they wanted to. Rob Moore, touchdown. Get off of him. Yes, okay. I would have looked really stupid on that one if, I, if he didn't score, but he did. 40, looking 42-26? 42-26 is the final. Ooh. 140 yards for Blair Thomas, Rob Moore, 79, not too, not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, so let's get through this season, or I'm sorry, not season, but this week. Season's almost over, jeez. Now let's see what... What does this NFL season look like after 10 weeks of play? Well, let's start off with standings. The AFC East, the Buffalo Bills are atop at 7-2. Um, the Jets are 6-3, and three, so there's still a chance. Let's look at the other divisions. AFC Central, the Houston Oilers finally lost a game, but they are still atop the AFC Central at 8-1. and one. AFC West, the Raiders are atop at 6-3. and three. NFC East, we, the Washington, so that three, there was like a three-way tie. That is finally broken. And Washington is the sole owner at 7-2. and two. NFC Central. The Vikings take over that division. What a crap old division. Not a winning team in that division. Awesome. Uh, but the Vikings are atop at 5-5. Five and, five. and going in to the NFC West the 49ers are 8 and 1 with the Saints kind of hot on their heels there at 7 and 2 so let's go back into team rankings number 1 offense Houston Oilers number 1 defense the Raiders are we still horrible Oh, the Jets are sixth. Where are the Jets in offense? Eleventh. Okay. NFL leaders for passing. Joe Montana is the leader for QB rating. Yards is Warren Moon. Wow, look at Steve Grogan go. And touchdowns is Joe Montana with 28. And Montana's having a pretty good year there. Receiving for receptions is Jerry Rice. Yards is Jerry Rice breaking a thousand. First receiver to a thousand for Jerry Rice. And touchdowns. Jerry Rice and Al Toon are tied at 14 apiece. Not too bad. Not too bad. Going to rushing leaders. Blair Thomas, I made the mistake last time and said Thurman Thomas, but it's Blair Thomas leading the league in rushing. And touchdowns is Blair Thomas with 12. Not bad. Do it up, Blair. Do it up. And interceptions. We have uh, Waymeyer. Waymeyer. Whatever how you want to say it. He has eight, and uh, pick sixes, Williams, Blaylock, Dishman, McDaniel, Anderson, Stetson, and Jamison. Usual suspects, as before, it looks like. Sacks goes to Bruce Smith. Bruce with 15. And 
punt returns. Any punt returns for a touchdown? Nope. And any kickoff returns? For a touchdown? Nope. So that is it. That is after 10 weeks of this Tecmo, Tecmo Super Bowl season. So please check out the Retroactive a Sports Podcast wherever you get your podcasts and on the BICBP Radio Network. Uh, did get some basketball games in. Going to start doing some hockey. Going to probably start be doing that a little bit maybe before those seasons there. So check out, I don't know if I'm doing full seasons, but I will be playing some games in there as well. So check that out uh, when I play a game or shoot me a message if you want to see full seasons in these as well. Maybe I'll play a game once a month or something like that because it's going to take some time to play all those games in a year. But let me know if that's something that you want to see. And hey, thank you for watching.